So back the second or third time, she was just like almost a saddle horse at this point. So he went ahead and cinched her up, but he was real careful how he did that. And he measured it when he was pulling up the cinch, he measured it with her breathing. But he also drifted with her feet and he was close, but he could control the direction and control the energy, but without like he was in control, he was just going with her, going with the feet. So pretty soon it was tightened up good enough where he could turn her loose, but he didn't because at that point she could have cut loose and she might have gone down, broken a leg, anything could have happened. So he just kind of stayed with her and she had to, didn't quite fit her. And, but then it was over with in no time. So he just moved around and just talked to the crowd and he moved to hind quarters, front quarters, did a lot of stuff and did it very quietly and smoothly, very smoothly. Something I wish more people would do today. You see a bunch of these idiots doing groundwork and all they're doing is just well, running the horse around, get them all going this way. Nobody slows down and goes to the feet or the mind. Well, Ray did. And so he sat there and worked with her and everything meant something to Philly. It wasn't long, he could step aboard and go for a little ride.